tonight, live from the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen, Sonia Tello, Jason Outlaw, music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest, comedian author, Joey Troya. From the Las Vegas Film Festival, Milo Kostelecki. Musical performance by Vera Anderson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man whose comedic career depends on a Donald Trump presidency, Mr. Jason Allo! Hey! What's up? How's it going? Good to see everyone. Give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso, huh? Yes, indeed. Wow, good to see you. How you doing, Lenny? Awesome, awesome. Yes, yes. Did you go to Life is Beautiful? Who went to Life is Beautiful? No! Yes. Not that guy. All right, good. He was like, no, not me. All right, that's good. That's good. Did you make it out there? Yeah, I did. Uh, Friday, I got to see uh, uh, Atmosphere. It was very cool. I saw um, Stevie Wonder, of course. That was okay. You were, yeah, Stevie. All right. Were you really drunk? Uh, musical genius. He was, and he, yeah, I was. Yeah, you were drunk. All right. He's, he's still drunk, ladies and gentlemen. He's still drunk. <laughs> he is still technically drunk. All right, guys. Well, hey, this is what's happening in the news. Chris Brown is in the news. After having some issues with touring in Australia due to his abusive past, he has stated he wants to teach people about domestic violence. He just needs a woman to take a hit for the team. Oh. Oh, you, don't judge me. You're judging me. <laughs> judgers, judgers, judgers everywhere. Man, ow. All right. That's how we're going to do it today. All right. Good stuff. Karate. All right. All right. Um, after a lot of speculation, the Vatican is confirming that the Pope did meet with Kim Davis when he made his trip to the United States. Uh, after talking with Kim Davis, the Pope is now firmly a believer that the devil does exist. <laughs> that is true. Devil. <laughs> Chipotle is in the news. Uh, one of its customers says she found a screw buried inside her burrito bowl. Yes, and she almost broke a tooth. Chipotle uh, described the situation this way. They said, quote, she has been taken care of. All is well. You know, I was unaware that Chipotle was ran by the mafia. Hey, hey, she, hey. She's been taken care of. All is well. It's OK. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Forget she talks too it. much, eh? You know? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Every guy in New York is going, what the hell is that guy doing? I have no idea. No idea. Um, according to the New York Times, baby-faced men are now turning to medical science to grow beards. That's right, they're getting transplants. Yes, indeed. Any baby-faced guys out there? Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, me next, said, said a horror movie star Chucky. He's got to get that. He's got such a baby face. He's a little work, yeah. And he does he have those work. hair plugs, you know? <laughs> you ever see a guy that's got those hair plugs? <laughs> it's just like, you're like, dude, you look like a doll. You're like, um, Oklahoma Attorney General has asked courts to halt upcoming executions after a drug mix-up. That's right. Uh, if they need to test the drug, Charlie Sheen has volunteered. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> me for the drugs. Me for the drugs. Whole Foods has, has actually uh, decided to stop selling cheese that is made by prisoners. That's right, they've got this whole program where the prisoners, they go in and they make uh, cheese and send it out. So they're going to stop selling the cheese, but they are going to continue selling those little bags made by kids in sweatshops. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Judging again, who is, is that you, lady? <laughs> it's like, ah. <"Ugh." laughs> uh, women in England are now receiving womb transplants. That's right. The first womb transplant has already been successfully performed elsewhere. Last year, a Swedish doctor has reported that the first birth from a transplanted womb had happened. A 36-year-old Swedish woman received her new womb from a 61-year-old friend. Just as long as they didn't transfer her breast, they're OK. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, look at the baby. It's kicking my breast. It's kicking my breast. It's kicking my breast. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> the breasts drop any lower, they're going to be knees. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kids are like, powdered milk. It's OK. It's all right. <laughs> are we? <laughs> is there judgment? I feel judgment. I feel judgment. All right. It's good. I should. I should. 
Uh, Hugh Hefner, Jeb Bush, and Oprah Winfrey all have one thing in common. Do you guys know what it is? Anyone? Nope. They've all been high on marijuana. Yes, indeed. They've all admitted to being high for marijuana. Hugh Hefner uh, smoked pot so he can deal with the uh, house full of complaining Barbie dolls. Jeb Bush smoked pot so he could understand uh, what, what the hell his brother is saying. And Oprah Winfrey, you know, Oprah Winfrey would be awesome to see her smoke pot. You know what I'm saying? She'd be like, you get a bag of chips, you get a bag of chips, we all get a bag of chips. <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> just, just, gosh, I, I want that. I want that life. Um, <laughs> A Major League Baseball announcer lost it on a bunch of Arizona State University sorority girls Wednesday night uh, when he noticed they were more obsessed with taking food selfies in the stands than watching the game. Yes, it was, it was pretty funny. Um, the girls were from uh, an Arizona State University sorority called Alpha Delta Phi, which translates to ate a lot of pies. That's what they were. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a wonderful show for you tonight. Give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso. I got you a Shirley Temple. Well, I got myself one too. Oh, well, perfect. So they didn't mix it. They really did a bad job. They didn't get the umbrella either. Do they so. even know how to make one? I don't think they okay. do. Okay. Okay. So, why are you here? What is Jokes? Tell us about Jokes. Jokes is a book that originally was supposed to be an ebook, uh, but I quickly realized I needed the other 25 letters. So, I decided to use those letters, all 26 of them, and I created a book full of jokes, one liners. Uh, some of them are great, some of them are bad. I went for the baseball approach, you know. 50% is, is amazing. <laughs> All the famous. So. so you're telling me. <laughs> oh, so you're telling me if I open this up, Yo. I should find something funny. Do not read that while drinking liquid near a computer screen because you're going to spit your, your drink out on your computer. In disgust so or just because you're laughing? No, just I'm a fun one. It's, so it's probably okay. the greatest book okay. you will read that has a tomato looking character on the front. Oh, yes. And this is your one of. Okay, so. We'll this is one that. of your personalities. Yeah, well, explain that. Well, it started as a little thing where I cr I, I drew uh, little characters on a, a whiteboard, and I decided to make him to an uh, actual character. So he became the little face of jokes, and he created a little hat too, tomato hat, and other merchandise. Uh, this is a zombie mado. Uh, keep him away from the other mados because of uh, well, you know zombies if you watch Walking yeah, Dead. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a good, <laughs> good mix. So when did you become a jokester and just totally stop taking life seriously? Well, I think people take <laughs> I think people take life way too serious. So I tried not to take it as serious. I try to have fun every day, and by doing that, I create jokes. Uh, my brain works different than most people. Uh, I just so basically you're a little special. Well, I just constantly <laughs> think of jokes. I think of things to tie together, and uh -huh. because of that, I had to carry a little book with me, and I wrote all these jokes. So these jokes actually took two years. So this was your notebook. Pretty this much. is pretty much my notebook that. One on my iPhone, and then my iPhone got destroyed. So then I decided to go back to a notebook and decided to create that into an actual book. Okay, so I, I'm going to read one of these. Is that okay? Yeah, be, get ready to laugh, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. On page 77, that's a great year. Um, I tried to get into the British Open, but they were closed to the public. Bunch of hypocrites. Hypocrites. Hypocrites? Get it? No. The British Open. They're open. They're supposed to be open, but they're closed to the public. Get, let me, let me find I'll get a good book. Let me, let me find one. It's a good one, Joey. It's a good one. It's a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, so wait. So, so let's, let me ask you another question. Yes. Okay. We'll wait on the book. We'll do one more. So I really want to know something, and I know a lot of ladies want to know this as well. What do women think of your nonstop puns and jokes on dates? They know what they're getting themselves into. They do. They have to know. In the beginning when they meet me, they know what they're getting into because of my <laughs> jokes. Is it a good thing, a bad thing? Come on, elaborate. <laughs> it, it, I hope it's a good thing, but if it's not, then, uh, well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, read, your, read it. Read All right, it. so uh, speaking of dates, I actually have a blind date uh, next week. Oh, no. I hope it goes okay. better than my depth date last Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Where's that applause sign? 
Come Good on. job, Joey. Well, I got, okay. I got. Just pick a page. Just open it up. All right, just pick a page. Give me a number. Any one number. 42. 42. Ooh. Uh, well, I feel bad for Robert Downey Jr. because when he gets older, he's never going to be able to have a senior discount. Because he, he's junior. You got it. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr., he's not a senior. I mean, come on, guys. This is gold. <laughs> OK. This is gold because you're currently on a book tour. I'm How's on a that book going? tour. I started in West Virginia. I went to West Virginia over the weekend or a couple weeks ago. I went to a wedding, my buddy's wedding. I sold books there and also the Dairy Queen across the street. I sold, <laughs> sold out and I, you know, decided to come here. And I got a special treat for everyone in the audience. If you get your iPhone, it's going to be in Kindle soon. My you're breaking dropped. stuff. You go to the uh, iBook store and you guys can download, if you search for jokes, a free copy of jokes. Ebook version. And All notice right. how jokes is right spelled on. Joe K E S. Yeah, and if you Joe love Bono, there's a lot of Bono jokes. Who loves Bono? Everyone loves Bono. <laughs> Bono fan over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I just want to thank you for being here. And where can we? You said you can find that on the. You can find that on the I, uh, yes. Apple iBook Store. Where can you find this? You can find this at the next podcast. You can go to www.tom-mado.com. Um, and also on Facebook this is this or this. This is going to also be next week. If you guys would like a hat, let me know. I can do a pre-order. Um, and also that everything's on Facebook. If you follow me on hashtag jokes j j o e k e s l v on Facebook and on well MySpace too. If you guys have MySpace, <laughs> I'll be on MySpace. He is actually really huge. I really on am MySpace. on MySpace. I got three yeah. followers, so 100 percent increase. That's 300 percent increase. That's, yeah, amazing. From last. <laughs> Three months ago, right? Yep. Yes. And follow me on Twitter in the same handle, and on Instagram, which I'm more frequent on, is on J O E underscore K E S. Perfect. Give me five, bud. Awesome job there. And this book is amazing. I mean, come on. <laughs> and I, thank you. <laughs> great segment. Um, so we're going to follow that joke book up with a guest who is a director and founder of the Las Vegas Film Festival. Please put your hands together for Milo Kostelecki. Come on out, Milo. <laughs> what up? Thank you. Film you. expert. <laughs> yeah, you're right here. Thank you. Got to keep classic David Letterman style. <laughs> um, all right, so who likes movies? Why do you love independent film? You know, I, it's more about why I love this city, and I do it because I want to do something positive for the city of Los Angeles. Got to play to the audience, I love it. Yeah, no, <laughs> sure, that's, yeah, that's okay. ma mainly why I like to do it. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about the uh, festival that just happened. How did like explain what just occurred and how the festival went? Sure. So uh, last month in August, we hosted the uh, the seventh uh, annual Las Vegas Film Festival. We made some amazing uh, partnerships and strides by partnering with Cine Vegas, who was the uh, kind of the old uh, film festival for Las Vegas. So Robin Greenspun and I met many times, and we decided, you know what, let's work on this thing together and do something like really positive. So there was no more confusion. Cine Vegas is now back in the fold with the Las Vegas Film Festival, which is a really big deal. And um, and then a year and a half ago, we brought everything downtown. So we basically. Um, you know, decided that this is the place where you, you want to host a, a great film festival here in East yeah. Fremont. Okay, so because I want to talk about that. I mean, uh, I grew up in Park City. I was super into the Sundance Film Festival. Where do you compare, and also why did you move it downtown? Well, you know what, the energy and the artistic expression and the redevelopment aspects and just everything that's going on feels right to, to you know, we're, we belong down here. So that, that's exactly why we came down here. We saw an opportunity to be part of the, the you know, the, the growth of what's happening, and we're just going to continue to look for uh, theaters. We need we need some additional theaters. We're going to help make that happen, and um, you know, keep improving yeah. what's happening Two downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You, I mean, you had some stuff going on right here at the Inspire Theater, right? This is our home, and yeah. And then uh, we've we've already identified uh, another theater that, that will work for next year, 
and we're constantly What's the other one? figuring up, that secret? figuring out some things. Yeah, we're, we're, we won't announce does it. Does it exist yet? Wait, yes, it does exist. Yes. Mm, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> we got clever. I'm yeah. going right to Reddit with that question. We yeah. can solve anything. Um, okay, so a lot of times people, at least at Sundance, where I came from, would always talk about sort of the fun celebrity parties, the things that were happening. Uh, after the films were over. Do you have any stories that you can share from this year's experience in downtown Vegas? You know what? Uh, we have we had six great parties, we had some after parties. Um, from this year, there's nothing that really stands out, but three years ago at the um, Artisan Hotel, we had one of our, uh, uh, one of the, the filmmakers that, that came in from California, she got completely naked in front of everybody and jumped into the pool at our main party. And it, and it was kind of like the, Highlight of the event, we were like, wow. Yeah, we, we, yeah quite a second ago, you're, you're like, nothing stands out, and you're like, yeah. And then that, that grin comes on, and I knew it would be a new story. Yeah. Like, right then, I was like, you saw someone well, naked. We had Johnny, Johnny Knoxville right on the stage describing some very lewd um, <laughs> former stuff about his friends that was really bizarre. So, so I guess oh, that was. Oh, regurgitate it in a PC way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, Using references. Yeah, Johnny Knoxville, you know, he's talking about his friends taking their clothes off and uh, swinging things around and <laughs> doing some, him What's and his that? buddies, and he's, you know, you can kind of get an idea. Yeah, well, what kind of metaphor would you use for swinging things around? I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, with <Sorry>. Johnny, <laughs> I don't know, you're putting me on the spot for that one. I, okay. I'm going to avoid that. <laughs> okay, well, are you pretty good at movie trivia? I mean, do you love movies in your core? Yes. Okay. So we're going to take a commercial break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to play Heads Up. Have you ever played that before? I have. Yeah, it's, it's a fun game. Okay. Get ready for it. But before we do, tell everybody how they can get involved in next year's festival, and um, give them a website that they can check sure. out. Sure. No, you can come t take a look. Uh, we're lvff.com. Made it very simple. Um, there's, there's ways to volunteer. We had 100 volunteers last year, so you can uh, kind of follow our Facebook page and follow our website. And uh, everybody's welcome. It's uh, just it's an event for the city. It's it very great, affordable, yeah. and uh, we'd love to have you. So, so please. And you know, every one of these events that come downtown help build that community feel. So let's give them a round of applause for bringing something like that down here. <laughs> we took some guts to invest in this, so we appreciate you investing in the city. We'll be right back. Get ready to play movie trivia. Yeah. <laughs> It's all you, audience.
So it's a thing that you drive in in San Francisco, and it's got some kind of name. It's sort of like um, when you want when you want ice cream really bad. It's a thing you it's a thing you write in named an ice cream thing you want. Pass next thing. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a uh, um, what's the song? Guy? Do, 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 do. Is this is a Pink Panther. Yeah, got it. Uh, okay, so this is like boo, spooky, a spooky thing like Slimer. And, and, and the oh, Ghostbuster. Uh, close, but the first word, and then also somebody who's um, in a car is doing what? When you get on a motorcycle, you're doing what? You're riding. Yep, that's it, so those two words together. Easy rider? Or? Uh, remember, go, the, the busters, blank busters. What is Casper? Okay, the white ghost. <laughs> yeah, really close. All right, we got it. Okay, um, oh, lots of uh, fingernails. And then, yeah, oh, Freddy Krueger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Freddy With the, the movie he's in. It's, uh, it's a, like I a bad dream. On Elm Street, or is it? Oh, oh. Okay. oh. Wait, did you say that one? We should get that point. Dang, we were close, though. You guys got one point. Okay, Joey. I want to sign it for Joey. Let me review that. Let me review it. Oh, okay, hardcore. <laughs> If you're not first, you're last. Yeah, second. No, Third. no. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. Uh, Will Ferrell. Oh, uh, 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 tell, tell a good night. Yes. Okay. Down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi yeah. Karate Kid. Miss Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 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 it has Johnny Depp. Oh, and he's, he's in. And he's a barber. Oh, oh, oh. Sweet Todd. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh. What's this? Oh, uh, baby. Baby yes. talks. And I am a. Mama. Yes. Mama. Oh. <laughs> Away. No, oh, no, no. Say Private Ryan. Yes! Yeah. Oh, I'm singing. I'm oh, singing in the rain. And I'm Mary not, Poppins. No, no, no. And it's, it's, it's in like a, a setting with a bunch of what? students. A bunch of students. Zach Efron. Oh, 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 how many did we get? How many did we get? We right. got four! Five. five? Dylan, five. Ah! Yeah. Right, so you're going to get something up to do. Okay, you get one. Watch movies. Yeah. Jokes. Don't you pay attention? Yeah. He goes, writes jokes and goes on dates. Uh, oh, yeah, Star Wars. Pass, pass, pass. <laughs> Wait, is it? Uh, oh, she's the princess, I think. Uh, 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 little journal. <laughs> Get his jacket. Oh, it's uh, down in uh, Johannesburg, director. Oh, uh, uh, District nine. 9. Uh Adam Sandler is drinks uh, all the oh, time. He's uh, going back to the school. The going back oh, to school. Uh, uh, the penguin thing where he's Yeah, with the penguin. And that's it. Going that's to first, it, second, third grade. Um Disney, oh. Tarz, Tarzan, uh Disney like uh, with all what the stuff in the jungle, all the Disney characters the in the jungle. Oh, you, or, sorry. you got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> what is he said? He thinks I cheated. I, I passed. Never even heard it. <laughs> How many you get? <laughs> Did we get? Uh, Willy Wonka and. Will, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, but not Willy Wonka, but. The, the main Willy character. Main character, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tom Cruise. Uh, uh, the top little, Gun. No, no, but he. Uh, uh, he's a spy. Uh, Mission Impossible. Bam. Yeah. Uh, 
Down again. Okay. Um, Robin Williams. Robin Williams is a doctor. He's a doctor with a nose. Patch, 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 patch Adams. Yes. Um, if you're not opposite stupid, Steve Carell, he was in this. Uh, the Rock was in this. Uh, pass it, pass it. Um, this is our team name. This is our team name. What's the team name? What's oh. Um, Titan, a Titan, Titan. Remember the Titan. No, no, Titan. Finish the word. What are you saying? I don't even know what you're saying. Oh, oh, oh. that point doesn't count. I feel like those loosened me up. You guys are dead now. Are we ready? Is it yeah. Oh, this is great. They're a bunch of babes. They do it three of them, and they do it the position like this. Um, it's kind of like the word angle in math, but it's it's like it's a, but they fly away. Oh. Yes, by women. Three of them. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, he cli he climbed up a big building. He's a giant gorilla. Oh, and, King Kong. Yeah, got it. Um, oh, cool. The uh, uh, ears coming at, at you. His his sidekick is Robin, and sometimes oh, he comes back. And and which which movie did he come Bat back in? Batman Returns. Yeah, got it. Um, okay, and this is uh, about a wizard who's got a stick. Super famous. There's a place in. Uh, 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 how they. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Hogwarts. Yeah. Hog I know. Um, <laughs> I know. It, it, it's it's the show. It's the show with the. Uh, I know it. I. Uh, um, uh, Spass. I don't know that one. Um, oh, is it a Disney movie about superheroes? Uh, superheroes. It's a it's a Pixar movie, not a Disney movie. A Pixar movie. Um, it's about uh, amazing uh, superheroes. It, it, it was. It oh, they're a bunch of monkeys, uh, and they come from some. Planet Apes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They help none. And, uh, not, not, not heaven, but... Down. But not God, but... Oh, devil work product. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm doing this, and I'm jumping Banjo. on top of... Yeah, oh, another oh. thing, another oh, thing. Fiddle on the roof. Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm not clean, but I am... Dirty, dirty Harry. Yes! <laughs> That's our show. I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Thank you to our cast and crew and to all of you at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience here at the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street, 9 p.m. every Thursday night. Also party with the cast and crew on the rooftop for the after party. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube for our online only content. Like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and MySpace at Downtown Podcast at DJ Lenny Alfonso. Peace, love, be kind to one another. Salamat, salamat. Woo.